Hey, hi, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chloe. Today's video is just going to be a vlog. I am going to be meal prepping and dyeing my hair, which should be fun. And while I'm doing my hair, I'm going to give a little bit of story time. It's just a couple short ones. Um, I only have two that I can think of right now, but we'll see if I think of any more. And it'll be fun, so come hang out with me. Please give me a like and subscribe as it really supports my channel. I filmed some other videos and I just realized that I forgot to make TikToks about them. <sighs> so I gotta do that. It was totally cold enough to wear this when I put it on. And now that I'm under the ring light, I'm like, whew, it's a little toasty. Oh yeah. Y'all, it's gonna take forever to dye this hair. There's so much. Okay, so I'm going to dye my hair. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty nervous. And these cats are just playing around in here. They keep getting in the tub. I don't know why, but they're <laughs> obsessed with it. And Aymara has ruined the whole shower liner. It's just got holes all the way up, so I gotta get a new one. She's about to ruin my curtains too. It's like, I don't pay attention to her and she's like, fine, I'm going to ruin everything. I'm like, I'm in the middle of something. And Goose is just sitting here being cute. <laughs> he tried. But I am trying overtone for brown hair. So orange. I'm gonna put that over the brown and hopefully you'll be able to tell and I'll probably blend it in the middle a bit. I'm sure in the sunlight it'll look pretty cool. And I loved the yellow and I still have lots of it left. So I will be putting that all over the ends. And that is the Arctic Fox. And this lasts forever. I've used the pink before and that didn't last very long, but pink never does. I did the yellow in November and there's definitely still some yellow in there and I have not touched it up at all. Well, that's interesting looking. Okay. Amara, please do not, please do not get involved. Oh, wow, this says I'm gonna have to leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. Well, it's gonna sit on my head a lot longer than that. It smells really weird. I do not like the way it smells. I really wish these cats would leave me alone. You're gonna get dye on you. So I thought while I'm here, I would do a little story time and just a little short one. I don't have any long ones. Okay, I already don't know how I feel about this. It smells so bad, honestly. <laughs> so for this lab that I had to do for one of my classes, we had to go out and find, like just document animals that we found, but they had to be like from certain classes and orders. So we had to find a certain amount of species of amphibians and I found zero. So I really love that our grade is like based on complete luck for this. That's really cool. But I did find some frogs. They were just impossible to get pictures of because they're really tiny. I don't know, they were only like that big. <laughs> they're so tiny and they're very cute. So frogs are essentially deaf. They like detect predators through like vibrations on the ground, you know, like earth bending. <laughs> so I was like slowly creeping up, getting to these frogs, cause you can hear them cause they're very loud. <laughs> I'm going through the grass like real slow, feel like a Pokemon trainer. I'm gonna try to get a picture of these frogs. And like, mind you, it took me a few minutes to even track down where the chirping was coming from and then to slowly creep up on them. So like, I put time into this. I really wanted a picture of these cute tiny frogs. They blend right in with the mud too, cause I did see one and I grabbed my phone to take a picture. And then I was like, I have no idea where it went. It blended in so well. And then it ended up popping away but i really could not see it <laughs> like they just blend in so well and they're so tiny and they're really really fast they run away so quickly this guy rode his bike past me and i can hear him behind me because you know i'm listening carefully for the frogs and i hear his bike like stop 
and then reverse. And I'm like, oh God, <laughs> is this guy really gonna come try to talk to me right now? And he did. And he just rode his bike right through the grass I had been searching and all the, the frogs went quiet and you know, I couldn't find them cause they, I mean, they did not, even when he left, they did not start singing again right there. And I never ended up getting any pictures of frogs. It gets worse. So first of all, why would you do this when everything that's going on right now in Europe, why would you sneak up behind a woman? So I had a three foot wooden stake on, in my hand. I was like <laughs> in the swampy area. I just wanted to have something long enough to brush leaves out of the way and make sure I'm not getting into snakes. You see snakes far more often, I feel like, than amphibians. Wow, this dries really fast. So this guy comes up and starts talking to me. He asked me what I'm doing and I told him I was trying to find frogs and he laughs and I'm like, it's for class. He was like, oh, where do you go? And he asked what class I was in, so I told him. And I don't know, he was just being really weird. And he's like, so what do you want to do with your degree? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm getting a degree in biology. Like, I really am not entirely sure what kind of job I want. I feel like I'm not going to have much of a choice going into the career. <laughs> like, going into the career. Like, you kind of get what you can unless you go to school more, which is why, you know, I want to go to grad school. And so he asked me if I want to get my PhD, and I said, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> like, I haven't really, I don't know if I want to go to school that, that long or something that intense. Like, I don't know if I want to go through that, because I know that would be really, really hard for your mental health. And I just don't know if I can do that. He asked what I would study, and I said evolution. And this guy laughed. He laughed. He asked what I wanted to study and then laughed at me. I had a three foot wooden stick and a knife on my hip, just like, you know, you could see it. And then I had a stick in my back pocket too. And I'm like, what about that says approach me? Cause I feel like I very much looked like someone who wanted to be left alone. That's a great story on how not to approach women. Plus like, sorry, dude, I'm gay. <laughs> A few minutes later. I was gonna use another pair of gloves to do the yellow, but these are the gloves that came in the overtone. I'm actually not serving lunch today, so I think I'm just gonna use my one pink glove that I have, and my other hand will just, you know, be careful. I'm really slow with this kind of stuff. It's been an hour for no reason. No reason. I'm moving on to the yellow now. I got the orange in a lot of places that I did not intend to because I couldn't see what I was doing. Ew, this one smells awful. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I dropped that on me. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks like mustard. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Oh, whoops. Anyway, I've been watching Liz Gilly's interviews because, you know, I'm in love with her. Who isn't in love with Liz Gillies? But they're all with Zach Singh. And honestly, he is awful. And the other host, Dan, just absolute garbage. Like, these guys are creeps. Why are they allowed to be on the internet? Liz, like, talked about being by a pool. And Dan moaned. Like, that is just vile. News outlets are publishing articles about her and Matt Bennett being together. They're best friends and she's married. I think he's gay, but I'm not, I'm not sure. When they were talking, Liz and Matt, they were talking about this guy and they said he's not their type. Like, they're like, oh, he's not our type. So I was like, oh, so they're both into men. That's what it sounded like to me. So that's why I'm thinking that he's gay but also it's been rumored for a long time. I didn't know it had been rumored, but apparently it has. I never, I never picked up on it. So I hope these parts where I got orange, I hope that they blend pretty and look like fire instead of just looking like mistakes. 
but we shall see. So I have one more short story. This one's really embarrassing, <laughs> but it's so funny. So this girl, this, it's just some girl on Twitter. She's absolutely gorgeous. She tweeted one time like, shoot your friendship shot. So I did. And then she tweeted, nobody boring. Wow. I wish I could say I can't believe it, but um, I'm not that surprised. I'm not even boring, I'm just shy. I'm so shy. I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> I made a huge mess and my hand is yellow, but it's all right. I'm gonna hang out with this, you know, and wash it out and come back tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. It's partly sunny and cloudy right now, so it's making the lighting really weird, but I wanted to show you what my hair looked like without using the ring light so you can actually see what it looks like. So most of my roots didn't take any of the orange except for the pieces around my face, but the orange did bleed into the yellow and obviously changed the yellow to also orange or to like a yellowish orange. So not exactly what I was going for, but it does look good. I haven't talked about this publicly at all yet, but I am non-binary and gender fluid. So I got a binder and it's here. So I'm gonna try it on. Okay, this is what I look like before. about like a 34D for reference. You know, one's a whole size bigger than the other, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> this is amazing. I did just try it on for TikTok, so sorry TikTok got my first reaction. I can't stop smiling, cause what? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's just, wow. Wow. If anyone else is looking to buy one, so I'm like roughly a 34D and I got a large. It's a little big for my body, but it's definitely not too big for my chest, so it works. I am so shy, I can't stop looking like, what? What? That's amazing. And it's, it's comfortable. It doesn't really feel much different than wearing a bra, like a sports bra, except Maybe a little warmer because there's more to it, like it comes down to here, but wow! <laughs> I seriously just can't stop looking. <laughs> I just keep looking in the mirror like, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> ah! I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I think that's gonna be it for today's video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it all the way here, comment down below, what color should I dye my hair next? I hope you had fun. I know I did. Well, you know, part of it. <laughs> I'm feeling good right now, though. I actually feel amazing. This is so awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.